artists, you know, talk with them, experience the art. You know, when I first came uh, and talked with Claudia, it was just an amazing time. The reason why I titled it Liminal Space is because, for one, the museo is under a new direction with Claudia. And she's like, I just want a way to be inclusive, to talk about the past and where we're going. And I don't know quite how to do that without or with it being contemporary as well. And so I just came to her and we talked a lot and I said, well, why don't we call it liminal space? Because we, we can reflect on our past and then when we look towards the future, it's that middle ground where transformation takes place or change takes place in many of our lives. And, and whether it's scary or whether it's unsure or however it is, you know, it's we all have a moment where we say, oh my God, and then we, pursue another part of our life, and that's kind of what Liminal Space is all about. Um, these artists, I, I instructed them, I said, you get this much space right here, or you get that much space, and then I just left them, um, because I kind of wanted them to sit in that, that dwelling place, that liminal space a little bit, and find out why they are, who they are as artists, or as people, and what they want to contribute to their community, or, or let people be engaged with. And so that's really what it's about. The artists have made this show, and as you can see, the work is fabulous, fabulous. But because of my background as an art handler and exhibitions person, I have many people to thank for even just being here. And a show like this doesn't go up, you know, automatically. And so I would just like to thank George as well over here for. Oh, yeah. for thank you. All the artists.